Hey, what's happening guys? I don't know if you guys remember this video so much. We did it right before the pandemic hit and we talked about how op amps need a split rail or dual voltage power supply where you have a positive rail and a negative rail so that they can swing on either side of uh, the, the zero point, you know, zero crossing. Think to yourself of something along the lines of a sine wave, you know, like you're seeing right there in the picture. So there's an IC that can do this. It's called the uh, ICL7660. It's really simple. only requires a couple of components. You know, you can whack them in there. And, uh, whoops. Yeah, you can plug that in. You put in a positive DC voltage and you get out a positive and a ne negative DC voltage. You get both back, basically. It's simply creating a virtual ground, which is kind of what we covered in another video. But anyway, it works. It works really well. But I thought we could uh, improve it just a little bit. So that's what this video is about. So here's the schematic. We have a DC jack bringing our VCC in that feeds the V plus pin. We have a ground over here that goes to our ground rail. The uh, chip, the ICL7660S in this case, just needs a couple of components. We're going to put a 10 microfarad capacitor on the cap plus and cap minus. And we are going to put a uh, bypass capacitor of 0.1 microfarad across the positive to ground rail and we're going to do again with a 10 microfarad across the V out rail. So just like that, we can lay it all out, put it up into a board, and it's going to look something like this, except it's going to have that, you know, that DC jack on it, right? Now the beauty part is, if you notice here, let me grab my drawing tool, here and here are spaced so that they will plug into a breadboard. Yay! So this clips on the end of your breadboard and you now have a power supply for doing your op-amp work. Is this like some groundbreaking Elon Musk level engineering? Pfft, no. Just useful. And that's the best part of engineering. You're just making something useful. You don't have to change the world. Just make it a little bit better. It's the most wonderful time of the year. That's right, but you don't come to me for singing. You come to me for electronics. And when I need a PCB made, I go to PCB Way. And right now, for the Christmas season, PCB Way has free Christmas coupons for you. $5 on orders of $30 or more, $10 up to $60, all the way up to $200 off orders of $3,000. So if you need PCs manufactured, PCBs manufactured or 3D printing, CNC machining or sheet metal fabrication, including injection molding, check out PCB Way. All right, took eight days this time, but we got our boards back. And they're looking pretty nifty. Focus. You fine piece of engineering. So there's the boards. There's our components. We got a barrel jack. We got our IC. We got three capacitors and a couple pieces of header. Really. That's all there is to it. We got Uncle Rob's magic solder flux some blue tack let's put this bad boy together all right we're just about ready to get started soldering you notice the guys aren't there anymore due to an unfortunate incident in the lab engineer and chief safety officer minion paul has decided that all of the lab dwellers must move back to a safe distance the damage i don't know how well you're going to be able to see this resulted in the uh, power supply releasing some really bad smelling magic smoke so 
we won't talk about that. All right, so let's uh, let's put in these pins first. Put them in the right way, Paul. You dingus. And make sure that my measurements were on. Wow. Will you look at that? It actually works. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. Everything fits. I was never expecting that. I never get that lucky. <laughs> All right, let's put a little, a little bit of Uncle Rob's secret sauce on there oh his flux makes the day go just a little bit slower not really I mean, it actually just makes the solder flow better but that was actually a line from an old robin williams bit don't remember which drug he was talking about but he said one of them makes the day go just a little bit slower I was always a big fan of Robin Williams. Okay. Sitting good. Sitting pretty. Solders look good. Next, uh, let's put in our, our jack. For that, we get out, you know what, the blue tack that everybody from Great Britain and across the pond have been telling me I should be using forever, and I just never did, you know? I was always a Clampett kind of guy, not Jed Clampett, but like, you know mechanical clamp well there's nothing wrong with Jed clamp it Beverly Hillbillies were a fine show and Jed was a good father and grandfather man could do worse than to be like Jed clamp it this is gonna be a, it's gonna be a real quick soldering project that you're gonna see in real time All right. Oh, hi, hi. She's a little twisty there, Captain. She's a little bit on the twisty side. Oh, be all right. That's a ten. Show, she'll go in and like it this. Oh, yeah, fits like a glove. Who's next? Swim there. Who's next? Evening there. Those of you who are in your 50s probably know what I'm referencing, but it was an old Wendy's commercial about not having a choice, and it was a Soviet um, fashion show. And this, this, you know, the announcer would call out, who is next? Swim there. Who is next? And it, it, it was always the same outfit. <laughs> kind of feels like my life sometimes. All right, we use that to hold them buggers in place. And we're just going to uh, solder one of each leg in. Let's see if I can get you a better view. So like I said, we're just going to solder one leg on each of these it yes i read all the comments and i read the one about the solder smoke when i'm working on projects by myself i have a solder fume extractor that i use but when i'm making videos it is just almost impossible to be able to deal with the noise 
of the solder fume extractor and have you guys still be able to hear what the heck I'm saying, you know? And since these are relatively short, uh, you know, I'm just rolling the dice here. All right. See how they're all cattywampus now? What I can do now, take a nice clean soldering iron, just heat up the joint, hold it in place for a second until the solder cools, and they'll all sit nice and pretty. Now I know I'm going to get questions as to why did I pick these particular capacitor values? Well, I didn't. I copied them directly from the uh, data sheet. This was their recommended capacitor values. So that's what I'm using. Remember, the data sheet is always your friend. The data sheet is not going to lie. It's going to give you the best information possible that is going to allow you to succeed with whatever I see the data sheet is referring to. That's why it's there. Can you go outside of the data sheet parameters? Yep, you can. But things change then. They're not going to be... It, whatever you're working on is not going to behave the way you expect it to. And where you're going to find that a lot of the time is in digital electronics where they'll talk about timing and pulse width. And let's say, uh, you know, you have to have your timing to trigger this IC or this particular function on the IC has to be within so many nanoseconds or milliseconds. And if you get outside of that window, the chip will probably still trigger but it is not going to be reliably triggering. Like it may uh, overshoot or undershoot. A number of different problems can occur. Ah, these little footprints are just terrible for my old eyes. All right, I think we got everything. All right, our last bit of soldering work today is the IC for which we use this lovely pin straightener provided by my friend from Canada. And friend from Canada, I want to let you know that I have used the other items you sent me as well. Fine craftsmanship. Truly appreciate those. It's going to be like that, is it? Okay. Well, in that case, what you do is you just, you bring, <laughs> get lined it up right. You bring the IC down a little further, squeezes it a little tighter. It's like before dinner and after dinner. Now, now, yeah, see? Now everything's copacetic. Get our blue tacky tack on there. We'll go solder it up, right? Get some get some flux going on there. Doesn't take much. A little dab will do you. A little tin for the end of the iron. Solder one pin. And yeah, I don't like the way she's sitting, so that's why we do the old one pin solder job. Now I adjust it. Sitting pretty. We get an opposite corner here. Let's sit it back on the blue. The blue tech makes man, it is useful. Wow. Yeah, you guys probably want to see what the heck I'm doing, huh? Man, yeah, not much. Just soldering. Oh, 
always hopeful that she's going to work the first time, but you know what? I'm never confident of it. I'm hopeful, but never confident. But you and me, we're going to find out together now. All right, to power this guy today, we're going to have to use a wall warp because, like I told you, I done blowed up my power supply real good. So this means this is supposed to be a 12 volt power supply, 12.12 volts. Okay, that seems good. So, we plug this guy in here, and we power it up, and we hope and pray for no smoke. Okay, here we go. So this is our positive in ground. Let's see what we get. 12.27. And now we have our negative in ground. Climbing, but a little slow. Try to maybe getting closer here. And a half. Twelve point two. Huh. It's interesting. They're off by about a volt. Still works. Everything will be fine. But it is just uh, it's a little bit interesting to me. Hmm. Why do you think that happened? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I will put a link in the description below where you can order yourself five of these boards from PCB Way for about 20 bucks. And I know you're probably saying to yourself, well, I don't need five of them. Yeah, but that's the minimum you can get. You can share them with your friends. Plus, they're small. You'll lose them. Get to five. All right. I want to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Couldn't make some of these videos without them. They supply this channel with... Uh, the resources to make that happen and for that I am truly grateful so guys don't forget to like comment share and don't forget to subscribe that's it I'm out peace